Okay, everything in your program should be working now, and you are ready for the last step of this particular button, and that is the display. Now, the display is going to be pretty similar to how we did it in our scores program, so let's take a look. Our display had three parameters, and those three parameters came from where they were called. Like here, we had count, total, and average, and so these were all local variables to this uh, function, and I had to pass them in as arguments to display. I also needed global variables because all of my text variables are going to be global. And then I assigned them values. So I can actually copy and paste this display. It's not going to be that very much different. And you can start from scratch if you want to, or I can do a copy and paste. It is a handler function, so I'm going to come up here into my handler function area. I mean, sorry, it's a helper function. And I'm going to change my parameters from students total and average to count, max, and min. So just think about what you're doing here in this get max. I have count, max, and min, and those are the exact ones that my display needs. If my definition looks like this, my call is going to be for a void function, display, count, max, and min. Now notice that I have this call outside the loop. I have several things going on inside the loop because this needs to happen for every single number. But my display, I only want to do it once at the end, so it's outside the loop. Make sure that you indent for your function call. Now inside my function, I've got three text variables, but I do not have scores, total, and average. I have count, max, and min. So you just have to go through and make those little changes. And you're going to use it for whatever you called your variables. And I just need to change them right here. Now the only thing that's left is I'm going to change the assignment here. So instead of students, I've got count. And instead of total, I've got max. And instead of average, I've got min. I need to change the literal, so like instead of number of students, I could say how many numbers were entered. And I could say the highest number and the lowest number. So if I've made all the changes that I need to, if I was careful, then this should work. I've got my function definition. I've got my function call, and this whole thing, this one helper function right here, gets called from my input. Everything should be working. Now, I haven't done my button yet, but let's just give this a try. So I'm just going to say three numbers, and when you're testing, make sure you know what the answer should be. So I know I'm going to put in 80 as my high, I'm going to put in 30 as my low, and I'm just going to put in a middle number like 50. So I know what the answer should be. Let's take a look over here. Sure enough, I entered three numbers. The high was 80 and the low was 30. I can test this a few more times. You need to be a good tester. If it works once, that's great, but it should work several times all the time. 